वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज आवर फिफ्थ क्लास ऑफ कोर्स प्रॉब्लमेटिक्स वेल एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट टुडे टॉपिक इज लैंड कैपेबिलिटी सब क्लासेज एंड यूनिट्स बिफोर दिस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट लैंड कैपेबिलिटी क्लासिफिकेशन यू माइट हैव बीन नो अबाउट एट लैंड कैपेबिलिटी क्लासिफिकेशन इन प्रीवियस क्लासेज वी हैव डिस्कस each and every classes thoroughly and you know which classes uh, class 1 is suitable for agriculture and uh, as and when classes increases means class 2 class 3 class up to class 5 the uh, suitability for agriculture is limited and and in class uh, 5 6 7 Uh, sub uh, land capability classification is suitable for pasture and grazing and class earth was suitable for other other than agriculture and grazing now land capability sub classes land capability sub classes sub class provide the map map user information about both the degree and kind of limitation so here we will discuss about the groups of capability units within classes that have the same kinds of dominant limitations for agriculture use as a result of soil and climate so uh, this uh, will be discuss in this uh, land uh, land capability sub classes some soils are subject to erosion if they are not protected while others are naturally wet and must be drained if crops are to be grown some soils are shallow or may be uh, droughty or have other soil deficiencies still ten other soils occur in areas where climate limits their use one uh, note is uh, this is important capability class 1 has no sub classes this has to be noted because land capability sub classes is the in in this we are uh, providing the information about degree of degree and kind of limitations and you know the land capability uh, classification was one has no limitation so uh, in sub classes we will now discuss about the land capability class 1 the four kinds of limitations recognized at the sub class level are risk of erosion design designated by the symbol e here uh, symbol is taken from erosion so uh, now if uh, soil have limitation of wetness or drainage or overflow then that can be designated by w a small w and rooting zone limitation can be denoted by s and climate limitation can be denoted by c so by this uh, notation by this uh, symbol we can uh, uh, design or we can uh, uh, we can sub classify it by e w s and c now land capability sub classes are soil groups within one class they are designated by adding a small letter e w s or c to the class number for example 2 e etc so 2 is class number and e is limitation of e erosion so e is the risk of erosion and if w will be there then water in or on the soil interfere interferes with plant growth or cultivation in drainage s is the soil 
soil limited uh, soil is limited mainly because it is shallow droughty or stony sea is for uh, uh, use only uh, some part of the united states so chief limitation in is climate that is very cold or uh, very dry condition or any climatic uh, condition li limitation will be there that can be denoted by c now land capability units land capability units provide some specific and detailed information that than the sub class for application to specific fields on a farm a capability unit is a grouping of soils that are nearly alike in suitability for plant growth and responses to the same kinds of soil management so this is the units are further uh, classification of uh, land uh, capability classification after sub classes now land capability units are soil groups within a sub class and the soils in a capability units are enough alike to be suited to the same crops and pasture plants to require similar management and to have similar productivity now land capability units are generally designated by adding an arabic num uh, numeral to the sub class symbol for example 2e 4 and 3e 4 etc by this way we can represent land capability it is it will be very much clear in this manikandan at all references here characteristic of land capability classification here uh, land capability capability classification 1 to 4 is given and limitation is there in land capability 1 few limitation and uh, in second moderate and third severe and fourth very severe a range of crops all crops give optimal yield and in uh, land capability class 2 most crop give optimal yield whereas in land capability classification 3 few crops <coughs> yield satisfactory whereas in land capability class 4 yield marginal yield uh, range of crops yield marginal will be there and if we uh, will discuss about slope then class 1 uh, capability classification is level and 2 is gentle slope 3 is moderate steep slope and 4 is steep slope and if we will see the erosion condition then in uh, land capability classification 1 no or low erosion will be there whereas in class 2 less to moderate wind or water erosion will be there two type of erosion you know uh, uh, through uh, wind or through water both uh, less to moderate will be there in class 2 whereas in class 3 moderate wind and water erosion will be there and in class 4 very high wind or water erosion can be seen in if we will we'll see we will see the drainage condition then class 1 will be well very good and uh, in class 2 drainage system will be good in 3 average and in 4 poor drainage will be there in water holding capability capacity class 1 will be very good and class 2 good then moderate and in 4th low similarly soil depth for soil depth in class 1 more than 100 cm soil depth can be seen in class 1 and in class 2 the depth will be Uh, less than 100 cm 50 to 100 cm and in three classes 25 to 50 cm soil depth will be there and in class 4 soil depth will be less than 25 cm and that's why deep rooted crop 
cannot be grown in this situation. And if fertility uh, point of view, this class 1 is very good, well, and class 2 is good, 3 is moderate, whereas class 4 is low fertile. If uh, we will see the salinity and alkalinity level, particularly in saline prone area, where class 1, in class 1, no or slight salinity will be there in, in uh, class 2 slight to moderate, class 3 moderate and class 4 severe salinity and alkalinity may be there. Class 5, 6, 7 and 8. As you know limitation class uh, in class 4 capability classification severe limitation will be there. Class uh, 6 very severe limitation and class 7 is also very severe and in class 8 extreme limitation will be there and uh, due to this extreme limitation we cannot go for agriculture in this uh, class. And land utility, class 5 is used for pasture, 6 is also used for pasture purposes and class 7 is, can be used for forest and class 8 for wildlife. If you leave me, uh, we will, um, uh, uh, understand about the slope, then nearly level soil will be there in class 5 and in class 6 moderately steep, class 7 steep and 8th is very steep. If we will see erosion then in class 5 no erosion will be there, class 6 slight to moderate erosion and class 7 severe and class 8th will be very severe erosion uh, can be happened in class 8th. In stoniness, uh, class 5 uh, will have slight stoniness, 6 low to uh, moderate, class 7 moderate to high and class 8 very high. Soil depth of class 5 is moderately deep as uh, uh, like uh, class 1 and class 6 Silo, 7th is also silo and class 8th soil depth is very silo, which that's why it is not suitable for agriculture again. Now, what are the significance of this uh, land capability classification? So, land capability classification helps in planning for land use. Land capability classification determines the use of any piece of land. It helps to define the conservation problems and possible treatments. Keeping this in mind, a piece of land can be put to the most efficient land use. Similar uh, word is land irrigability classification. Of course, uh, uh, this is not written in your syllabus, but uh, uh, since uh, in, uh, in other uh, classes you will, you have to read this uh, part also and uh, this is uh, the term is very much similar uh, of uh, land capability classification and uh, the land capability uh, land irrigability classification predicts how the land would appear if irrigated and or drained including changes in water table salinity or sodicity and land shaping the objective of land irrigability classification is to select lands for irrigation development and to characterize their main management factors. This identifies arable lands that are suitable for irrigation and identifies the irrigable lands that will be actually irrigated within the Arable, arable lands. Land irrigability classification have six irrigability classification and uh, the class have three subclasses on the basis of uh, predominant limitation to particularly topography which can be represented by a small t, soils problem, a small s and drainage by w. <coughs> and subclass 
refers to the dominant limitations within the particular land reliability class. The subclass has few capability units based on uniformity in management. And land capability units are the group of land that are nearly alike in suitability for irrigation. And these are uh, the references from which we have uh, collected this information. Thank you, students. Thank you.